you like fish? Cause I do. When I was 5 years old, I went on my first ever field trip with my kindergarten class at the aquarium. The animals in the giant tanks are weird, almost alien. And just like that, little 5 year old Drake's mind was blown. I was so fascinated by these creatures that it became an obsession. I played with toy sea creatures, my favorite movie at that time was Finding Nemo, and I even had a pet goldfish. And today, we'll be playing through one of my childhood favorites. Feeding Frenzy! Shipwreck Showdown! Who here remembers this game? My life coach told me to play nostalgic games from my childhood to de-stress, since it could remind me of better times in the past, said it's good for my mental health, and it can help me with my condition- uh, Anyways, um, I remember playing this game at my aunt's house during my childhood. Every time my family went to visit my aunt, I would play this game on their family computer. Since it's quite boring there, no offense Auntie Mimi, as almost everyone there are adults and the only kid-friendly thing they have are the games on their computer. It was a holy grail of entertainment in the desolate land of boredom. It's been a while since I played this game, like seriously, it has been, what, 10 years? Damn. Sandy Show, time to get your fins wet. Okay, so the basic premise of this game is you're a small fish, in this case you're this little guy, Boris the butterfly fish, and you eat smaller no. fish to grow into big fish. And try not to get eaten by bigger fish. Eat enough fish and you'll grow bigger. And when you grow or evolve into the biggest fish, you can eat almost every fish on the screen. Pretty sure some of you remember how to play this, so let's see. Ah, there you go. Now I'm this fish, I'm swimming around eating all these little fishes. Damn, this is nostalgic. You gotta fill up that meter in order to win the stage. There's also this uh, frenzy bar, which is like their combo system. Oh, now I'm a bigger fish. Now I can eat the big fish. Hmm, there we go. Oh, okay, lionfish. Steer clear, that's the biggest fish. If I'm not careful, it will eat me. Okay, now I'm the biggest fish. All right, come over here. There you go. Yum. And the frenzy meter. Yep, the frenzy meter gives you more points. Okay, I don't really care about the points. I just want to eat. Oh, hey, there you go. Hey, Mrs. Mermaid, give me the starfish. There you go, yep. You can eat starfish in this game, gives you more points. Woo! Perfect! Nice. And that, that's the whole game. Eat, grow, try not to die. Also, at the end, there's a fun fact. A whale shark is the largest fish. At up to 50 feet in length and several tons in weight. Yep, despite having shark in their name, they are actually quite gentle. My god, I'm loving this already. <laughs> uh, takes me back. Okay, suck it in starfish. Eat starfish to earn more points, and you can click to dash. Yep, I know this already. Alright, eat, eat, eat. Careful, careful. Alright, come here. Triple frenzy. Ignore the fact that this fish is technically voring these fish without like a, a second thought. How did you even do that anyway? Your mouth is so small. I guess I didn't think that much back in the day as well. I just thought it was fun seeing him eating. Oh, okay, yep, I can't eat that even if I'm the biggest fish here. Yep, there's always a bigger fish like that leopard shark. Perfect. Fun fact, humhead rats mature slowly and can take more than five years to become adults. Frenzy time. Here's a frenzy boost. Eat it to fill the frenzy meter in a single chomp. Okay, nice. Mega Frenzy, Mega Frenzy. Mega Frenzy. There you go. Nice. Alright, get over here. Alright, there you go. Give me that. Here's the bonus stage. Try to eat 100 fish before the timer runs out. In one minute? Hmm, challenge accepted. Okay, come here. I don't think I need to worry about the bigger fish coming in. Yep, that's it. Give me that, give me that, give me that. Oh yes, I need extra time. Okay, yep, eating clocks give you extra time. Who would have thunk? So next time, if you're late for school or late for work, just eat your clock. There you go. Uninvited guests. New enemies are coming in and eat one up bubbles for extra lives. One up. All right. Extra life. Careful, careful. Okay, come here. Come here, come here, come here. 
Yeah, let's ignore the fact that uh, lionfish are toxic. That's what I like about these games. You don't need to think about logic. Just have fun. But it's funny to think about logic. It's, it's funny to apply logic here, I guess. Or maybe it isn't. Alright, there you go. Nice. Okay, humhead rats can be caught quite easily at night, especially by divers who enter the caves in which the fish sleep. That kind of sounds like nighttime kidnapping. Kind of creepy, don't you think? Stage 6, Precarious Pearls. Oh yeah, you can eat pearls to earn points. Careful. Alright. Okay, extra life. Oh! Alright, Shrekfish, get over here. Super eat. Yay! Butterfly fish usually mate for life, and the male and female raise their young together. If one butterfly fish dies, its mate may die as well. You know, if your loved one dies, I'm pretty sure it's a bad idea to die with them, at least by human standards. I'm pretty sure your loved ones want you to live as well. Hmm. Jump for joy! Okay, now we're at the jumping stage where you can eat insects. Oh my god, I didn't notice that his mouth opens like this. It's kind of cursed. <laughs> Try to eat all the bugs before the timer runs out. Alright. Okay, give me bugs. Nice. Alright, give me more time. We all need a little bit more time in life. Come on. Damn it. No. Why can't I aim? Uh-oh. Alright, there we go. Yeah, usually I don't like the bug catching stages because of how hard it is to aim. Showdown in the shallows. Leopard sharks. Oh yeah, this guy. Avoid that shark. I know. Alright. Okay. Why the spooky music? Bruh. Alright. I think I'll just steer clear of the deep and eat bugs. Nah, nah, nah. No. <laughs> Careful. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Give me that. Is there anything else down there? Alright. Careful, careful. Give me that, give me that one up. Give me that, give me that. Alright, alright. Ooh! Oh. Careful with the Shrek fish. Oh. Ah. Okay, there we go. Hmm. Careful, careful. Alright, nice. Okay, come here. Now I can eat all of you, except for that shark, which I cannot eat. Yes, yes! Okay, game over. Thank you, give me the starfish, give me the starfish. Yum. Nice, thank you. Alright. <laughs> oh, what? Uh... Okay, there you go. That's the big bad. That's the bad guy. The spooky alien fish. Hmm. Not sure what it's doing here, but pretty sure he's up to no good. Fun fact, despite its name, the African Pompano is not from Africa. The fish can be found in US waters and is common along the Atlantic coast and in Florida. Okay, I'm gonna stop this episode right here. Don't worry, I'm gonna continue this game all the way to the end. Hmm, I'm probably gonna split this game into three parts, maybe four, uh, depending on the time that I have. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe, and comment on what kind of games should I play. Uh, on this channel, I plan to play nostalgic games that people may have forgotten about from my childhood, and probably, and hopefully, from your childhoods as well. I want to recreate the fun feeling of playing simple old games from way back when, you know, when we were allowed to be carefree and not worry about anything. Uh, childhood. And for you younger ones who don't recognize this game, consider this a showcase of what the past has to offer instead of just Roblox and Minecraft. <laughs> so once again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everybody.